Okay, how cool is this? These two Michigan high school seniors, just toddlers, when the International Space Station was launched, will see their experiment testing crystal formations in space headed there next month. Selected as part of the National Student Spaceflight Experiments Program, Sidney Wainick and Stephen Precious have been hard at work since last March at a lab in the Butcher Educational Center in Warren, Michigan, testing and retesting their out-of-this-world experiment. The chemical reaction of copper and silver nitrate grow, grows crystals. The crystals have pores in the nanometer range, so they can store um, gases and they could be a more fuel or in a more efficient way to store like fuel in the space shuttles. Basically we've tried like five different types of crystals and we found that this one had the best real life applications so we decided to use it. But successfully growing these crystals on Earth is just the first step. The Chrysler Foundation stepped in with a $17,500 grant to help fund the actual launch of the experiment from the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport in Virginia to allow the space station astronauts to finish the job. That donation allowed us to really test out different topics and allow us to experiment with different areas of science and allow us to carry out this experiment. The donation meant a lot to me because I can put this on my college applications and I can use it for scholarships and I can just take it with me for my whole life now. Room aboard the space station is very tight. These budding scientists won't be going along. A bittersweet ending, but one they're taking in stride. They know what they're doing so I'm confident they can do it and I'm the only worries that they won't be able to do it right. Ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to go into space really bad. It was my dream. Obviously, that's kind of dwindled a little bit, but at least now something that I've done is going into space, and that's a big deal. There is a one test mission from the Mars. NASA TV will carry the launch live, so check your local cable provider for details since time and date are subject to change. Reporting for Chrysler Digital Media, I'm Betty Carrier Newman. Engines at 108% and up.